When I was in high school, I sent away for an osmoroid pen that I had seen advertised in the back of the New Yorker. And I taught myself calligraphy and started making illuminated manuscripts of Bob Dylan lyrics and selling them to my classmates. I went to Skidmore College, a school where if you couldn't paint, they would tell you you were graphically oriented. Once I understood what graphic design was, I was hooked. I realized why I loved making alphabet books and calligraphy, photographing signage, collecting wrappers and labels. I got my job with Herpoo Ballon on my 25th birthday by simply walking through the door. I had the great luxury of having my office in very close proximity to Herb's. His sketches were phenomenal to communicate something that other people would need photography or illustration for. He could say it all with type. I became art director of Pantheon Books. Pantheon's list was so obscure that no one really ever paid attention to it. So with no one really watching, I very slowly made changes. And then suddenly everybody started to notice. I was looking for ways to make my covers be unique whether it was hand lettering or scanning in old alphabets and old foundries and then making up the missing letters. I designed close to 2,000 book covers. I received a fan letter one day from Steve Heller. I still know it by heart. It was, Dear Louise, I just want to tell you that your book and your book jacket designs for Pantheon are excellent, consistently so. Every time I am struck by something in the book room or the incoming pile, it is something that you've been responsible for. Best regards. Steve Heller. That was in 1982, and in 1983 we were married. My son Nick was born, and Pantheon gave me a three-week leave and a fax machine. And I saw no reason to go back. <laughs> it never occurred to me to be scared to strike out on my own. I've always just sort of looked for signs. People have to find you in the phone book. And so I had to call it after myself. And I knew that was somewhat of a liability. But I took this opportunity to send a very clear message. If you have a problem with my being female, I don't want you as a client. I wanted to focus on the three things that I'm passionate about, food, type, and all things Italian. I started out with my book jacket clients and started making inroads into restaurants, then from there went into food packaging. Having come from an Italian household where the main subject of conversation every morning was what to make for dinner, it really should have come as no surprise to me that I would end up working for the food industry. I couldn't do an annual report if you put a gun to my head. I love being able to see my work in a supermarket. Likewise, just walking around certain neighborhoods of New York and seeing restaurants that I've done that are still open. <laughs> I had all these collections, and then of course when I met Steve, we started collecting together, and it was the impetus to start doing books together. Having my own projects is really what helps define me as a designer. I collect these things, particularly from Italy, but also from France, because it's a past that I didn't have, that I kind of wished I had. In the last several years, I've been doing books that I write as well as design, which gives me a great opportunity to travel more to Italy and France, which has worked out very well.